What's up guys, Dan from the Headwaters Kayak Shop. And today we took some time to line up our 10 most popular fishing kayaks under $1,000. Every kayak in our shop has a place and they all serve different needs. But today I wanted to highlight all the boats that we sell that are under a thousand bucks, basically from 500 to 999, and kind of give you a look at each one, let you know what it's for, and give you an idea of what might best suit your needs. Um, our first series of kayaks is called the Emotion Stealth. They come in three different sizes, the first one being the Stealth 11, the next one being the Stealth 10, and this one here is the Stealth Pro. So the Stealth 11 goes for 499, is a really feature rich kayak for the price point. This boat is out to really compete with what big box stores are selling, but in a much better paddling quality design. A lot of these cheap boats out there, they don't track, they aren't that stable, but the Stealth 11 is very much um, a kayak. You know, it's stable, it paddles well, it has a 300 pound capacity, so it'll hold a big guy and some gear. Uh, it's got this little front storage area for dry bags or tackle bags. It's got a rod holder between your legs. A hatch access to the inside of the hole between your legs for dry bags or gear you want to bring with you. A seat pad, a seat back. Two rod holders behind the seat. And then a nice space back here for a crate and also uh, some bungee. The next boat in the lineup is the Emotion Stealth 10. Now this boat is roto molded as opposed to the Stealth 11 being blow molded. So roto molding gives you a more consistent plastic. It also allows you to get a little bit more defined edges. So the Stealth 10, although it's smaller, is actually a little bit nicer paddling kayak, a little bit more rugged kayak, and the plastic's very consistent. Uh, the Stealth 10 has been around for a long time. It's been a staple in our lineup and is a really popular boat for us. Uh, it also has the stern tank well, two rod holders, the rod holder up front, molded foot pegs, uh, handles on either side, paddle clips on either side, and dry storage up front. So it's a little bit more simplified, but it's definitely a great paddling boat. A lot of people really enjoy this boat on the river uh, here in town. The next step is the Emotion Stealth Pro. This boat just came out for 2017 and has done really, really well for us. Uh, it's designed for bigger paddlers or someone that wants to stand up in their kayak. It is really feature rich. It's got the molded in front handle paddle park storage here, front dry storage, adjustable foot pegs as opposed to molded foot pegs. You see the large standing area, the high low adjustable seat. It's got yak attack tracks both on the front here as well as in the tank well. A large roomy tank well in the back to store lots of gear and again a molded in handle in the rear. So a lot of features for a $7.99 price point boat. Uh, the next family of boats we have is the Vibe family of kayaks. These have been incredibly popular for us this past year. Um, the Seaghost 130 has been out for about a year. The Seaghost 110 just came out. We literally were one of the first dealers to get these on the West Coast. Um, and then the Yellowfin 100. So the Yellowfin 100s are 10 foot kayak with a lot of features. It's designed for small water river fishing or a smaller paddler. If you're a bigger guy, you're better off to jump up to the uh, Seaghost 110. But if you're someone uh, 200 pounds and under that's fishing small waters or rivers and look, looking for something ultra lightweight that you can just throw in the bed of your truck and go, this is an awesome little kayak. This one got a little bit more size and got the upgraded chair. It also has adjustable foot pedals, two dry wells, and inside the dry wells they have a really nice cat bag. So to keep your stuff from rolling around inside the boat. It's got two rod holders in the front, two more in the back there, and it also has brass inserts. So if you wanted to add another Scotty rod holder, you could. Scupper plugs throughout the cockpit and paddle clips on either side. So the Yellowfin 100 is 649 and comes with an aluminum two-piece paddle. All the Vibe kayaks are going to come with paddles. They are very complete packages. The next kayak in the lineup is the Seaghost 110. And this is a brand new kayak as well for 2017. This one's going for $829. And this one has, again, the molded in handle, paddle clip, dry front hatch, with a little bag insert to keep your gear from rolling around. It's got the fishing pod, 
has little measuring tapes on there. It has spots for Canon or Scotty rod holders, a cup holder. And all these little screw holes are all places where you can make attachments like Scotty or Railblazer or Yak Attack will all screw right in there without having to drill new holes in your kayak. Uh, this here is a scupper transducer. So that goes through and you can see the little grate down there that protects your transducer from hitting the bottom. Scuppers all through the tank well. Again with the tracks on the, um, the foot wells and on the tank well. All the Seagulls also come with the uh, retractable rudder, so you can easily steer with your tow controls here. The nice thing about this rudder system is it's just the toe that moves, it's not the whole pedal. So we call that a gas pedal style rudder, where just your articulating your toe um, steers the boat. In the tank well you'll see an additional hatch here. This one's at an angle, so you can actually get a lot of stuff in there and you can have access to it from the water. Uh, you can also slide a rod down inside the kayak if you needed to for storage. The Seaghost 130 jumps up to $899 and is basically the exact same features. The biggest difference between the 110 and the 130 is the length, the capacity, and the water it's meant for. So the 110 is going to be an awesome boat for rivers, small water. Um, you could take it to the ocean, but you'd be a lot better served if you're going to be in bigger waters to go to the longer boat because you're just going to get a lot more efficiency out of the hole. You're going to get a lot more uh, ability to ride up and over the waves as opposed to punching through the waves. You can see how much more volume the bow has. It's going to rise and crest over the waves as opposed to the 110, which is going to tend to want to push through the waves a little more. The cockpits are identical. All the same features that we just discussed on the 110 are the same on the 130. All the chairs on the Vibes are extremely comfortable and they come in a high-low position. So you can either have it low like you see here or just notch it up into that um, back slot and it goes up about three inches or so. For the price point, they're probably the best value in the kayak fishing world right now. The next step we have is the native Manta Ray 12. Most of the native kayaks we carry are pedal drives, so they carry a heftier price tag. But the Manta Ray 12 has been an awesome kayak. It's been a staple in our shop for a long time. It's definitely a paddler's boat. It's a 12 footer. It's got a dry hatch in the front, secured with bungee, so it's definitely watertight. The cockpit's got adjustable foot pedals, scupper plugs, tracks, another, um, quick access storage hatch between your legs with the bucket. The seat is really comfy. It's definitely like a cockpit um, seat. So when you're in that boat, you feel like you're one with the boat. As opposed to something with a chair, you feel kind of like you're, you're sitting on top of a boat. So it's a different feel, but for people that like that more of a performance fit and feel, uh, the Native is awesome. And just like all the other Native kayaks, the quality and workmanship on Natives is completely flawless. Their boats are just about as perfect as you can get. It's got a couple of rod holders behind the seat, another small storage hatch, and a decent sized tank well. Lastly, we have the Feel Free family of kayaks. And these boats, by far, are the most popular boats that we sell in our shop. Uh, the Mokin comes in four different sizes, but we had to pick just a couple to fit our 10 boat quota for the video. So we picked our two favorites, the Mokin 10 Lite and the Mokin 12.5. I kind of say it's like a his and hers boat or like a little brother, big brother boat. The 10 lights all about being compact, small, lightweight. It's 10 foot four. Uh, it only weighs 55 pounds, so it's easy to car top or throw over your head. This one goes for 729. All the feel frees come with molded in handles all the way around. Big storage hatch in the front. Storage hatch between your legs. This just pops open so you can have access there. Um, little water bottle holder. It's got mesh cargo pockets on either side here. Track systems on the foot wells as well as the tank wells, just like the other kayaks. And a paddle park on either side. Also comes with a couple rod holders behind the seat and a drain plug. One thing about the feel freeze that you'll notice if you come and touch and feel them is the quality and the workmanship is really second to none. They really do a great job. Everything that attaches to the boat is attached to like a metal rod as opposed to a plastic pad eye.
So they pride themselves on high quality workmanship, um, watertight boats, and incredible customer service. Anytime we do have an issue with any of the boats, out of all the brands that we sell, they are the best. The Mokin 12.5, again, the big brother, more volume, uh, more features. This boat jumps up to $8.99, but you get a lot for your money. This is the one boat in our shop that you can do anything with. You can go to the coast, you can float a river, you can fish the Delta and stand up. Uh, it really has it all going for it. Um, similar cockpit to the Mokin 10 Lite, but this one does get adjustable foot pedals. It gets a larger center hatch, so you can add bait and tackle or things you want access to throughout the day right here. Maybe your battery for your fish finder. It's got the nice standing platform here. Um, it's all reinforced underneath there with, the, with plexiglass underneath the foam. So it really distributes the weight and you're not just standing on a polyethylene deck, which is nice compared to a lot of boats. Uh, storage compartment on either side of your seats there. Two more cup holders behind the seat. Nice roomy tank well. And feel free to also make some, some cool accessories that fit in that tank well. They make little ice chests, fish bags, uh, fish crates. They do a good job of not just selling the boats. They have a lot of their own products that go with the kayaks that make them unique. Uh, with all the feel-free boats, one thing you'll notice is they do a built-in wheel in the keel. And not just like an add-on wheel afterthought. Theirs are all molded in, extremely durable. Out of the hundreds of feel-free's we've sold, we've only had two wheels come back. And both those wheels were replaced right away, no questions asked. So last in the lineup, and barely squeaking in under the $1,000 price point, would be the Feel Free Lure 10. This is a boat that competes with boats that are in the you know $1,200 to $1,500 price point. It has the adjustable height chair in it. This is called the Feel Free Gravity Seat. So you pull the red lever, the seat drops down flush to the deck, and all you have to do is reach under the seat here and pop it up. And you have 10 different points of adjustment. So the beauty of that is you can really dial in your body position in relationship to your foot pegs. If you like to be up high and have your uh, feet down low below you, almost like a canoe, you can do that. Um, but really you can dial it into whatever feels comfortable to you. So the lure comes with the same molded handle. As you work your way back, you can see there's no wasted space. Big, large front oval storage hatch into the hole. Uh, these little pad eyes are set up for stand-up assist leash. Again, you've got the central hatch here. So nice storage. All the lures come stock with scupper plugs for the cockpit. You've got adjustable foot pedals. Again, with the reinforced standing platform. Some people actually take the seat out and you can throw a cooler and it has room for a uh, feel-free cooler to sit there instead of the seat if you wanted to do that. It's got paddle stagers on either side, rod holders behind the seat. Again, a generous sized tank well for a 10 foot boat. Molded in handles all around and then the built in wheel on the keel, just like all the other feel frees. So they also make a lure in an 11 and a half and a 13 and a half. So if you are fishing bigger waters, we recommend the longer boat, but for under a thousand bucks, the, uh, the lure 10 is an incredible value. So it, it definitely made our cut for the top 10 kayaks we sell under a thousand bucks. So kind of an overview, we've got all different styles of boats from stand up stable, really high seats to boats that are low, more paddling specific, uh, price point boats that have a ton of features, uh, very good value and inexpensive boats that are going to get people started in the sport and get them off to a good start with a quality product that if they choose to upgrade they'll still get a great resale value out of again like i started i want you guys to come by and try these kayaks i don't want you to just take my word for it if you're not local to california um, go ahead and find a dealer locally that will let you demo some kayaks and if not you're welcome to call or email the shop here and talk to dan bill matt Eddie, Nick, and we're more than happy to answer your questions and steer you guys on the right direction. Be sure to give us a like, a follow here on YouTube, on Instagram, we're at Headwaters Kayak Shop, or give us a call at the shop, 209-224-8367. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the water.